Hello everyone, we are playing Assemble with Care today and it's the same studio that brought us Monument Valley and we're going to play a globe trotting Antique Restora and uh, I'm just hoping we're going to repair lots of things and the first one is starting with Maria's mix, let's see. I actually already like the sound effects. <laughs> let's see, where can I put it? Okay, this game is best played with the sound. I can imagine. Yeah. Let's press. Maria's mix. Ooh. <laughs> Reminds me lots of the 80s. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. I'm actually surprised there is voice acting. I didn't expect this small game is gonna have voice acting. That's perfect. So the first chapter's arrival. But as my train pulled into the station at Bella Riva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. Bella Riva sounds like a pretty city, to be honest. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course. The forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Ooh. Bringing our most beloved possessions back Look to life that. is what I love to Lots do. Lots of stuff. So many I've foods. been traveling for months. Working my way from one town to the next. Fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Let's unpack them. Uh, I'll click the suitcase to pick it up. Already did. Sunglasses. I picked up these Oops. sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully, I'm cool enough to pull them off. I'm pretty sure you are. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. Oh, that's me, right? Oh, that's cute. Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. Maria's restorations. I'll hand these out once I'm I actually wanted to click on the copy as well. They get me some work. Adventure classic suitcase complete. Hmm. Wonder if we can click on the copy. I want to try it. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Decent meal, okay. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it. So I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, <laughs> beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. It is actually 1979. Damn, it's been such a long time then. <laughs> Crazy. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. So if it's 1979, I wonder if we're gonna assemble like old stuff. That would be so cool. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Let's continue then. <laughs> I actually really like the, the theme song here. Oh, the second chapter. Let's go for that. Lullaby. It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town. Its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, Preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. 
As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. If it's her, so I can't remember correctly. So far, everything here seemed perfect. Mm -hmm. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? Uh, hey, Izzy. It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold Just of one of my though. flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. Maybe I can help. I tried to <laughs> fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Damn, that reminds me of my mom's... Uh, I think it's called Walkman. She also had a red one. Um... And it was so cool to, to play cassettes over there. I can remember. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that uh, reminds me a lot of my Why did you do that? <laughs> my childhood. Because we can we are fixing stuff like that. Oh, I, ca I can turn around a bit. That's cool. How can I put things in the middle? I guess I have to do this here. The batteries are probably on the other side. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Wait, and we've still got coffee. And I saw the pulse icon. I see, that's actually so cool. That's so nice. Uh, but I want to resume. Let's go back. Let me take this one. And then move this one. Aha, uh -huh. those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, Easy clap. I have some spares. This is so easily to repair. Okay. And I was scared I need to repair like a clock or something. Uh, I'm gonna put this inside. Uh, turn it again. And I guess uh, we need to play it. Play. Oh, wait. I think there is no cassette inside. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> That's very useful, huh? It's a recording. So tight, know that I will always love you, even though we both know that we must say good night. Good night, my darling. No. No. Okay. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. Mm. I got a bad feeling. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. I thought so. Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. That's the thing, but it's something. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched <laughs> buttons, and a yo-yo. And a yo-yo. I also had a yo-yo. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. <laughs> she seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. Especially, especially when you were so young. The part I wouldn't be able to fix. Nope. But it's something. So she can listen to the lullaby again. I'm actually just a bit curious. How many chapters do we have? Oh, only 13! Okay, I thought it's a, a bigger game, but it's okay. Um, a small one, but a good one. So, this is looking like a... Oh, it's not moving. Okay, it's we're gonna do the next one. Third one, called Shattered. My first repair complete. I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel 
and found a message asking me to make one more visit. Just one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. Oh, the front this? door was opened by a harried looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. So that's Izzy's father. I guess you heard of uh, you heard of the stuff I did. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please come in. She didn't I'd like bother to set me. Up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. He's a bit harsh to himself, right? Mm. It's just a little state here. It survived a hundred years in this family. Oof, okay. But five minutes with Isabel and... <laughs> Do you think you can salvage it? <laughs> of course we can, of course. Just with a bit of glue. And I can already see the glue. Oof, okay. Uh, where should I start? Should I just start with the hat? Can I do that? Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Oh. We can try. Oh. We just actually just need to hover. It, it's looked like I'm using too much glue, to be honest. Can I, I don't know if I can remove it as well. Ooh. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything yes, together? Yes, trust me. Oh, you actually can see the glue. That's clever. Um, I don't know which arm belongs to you, to be honest, but it seems like... Is it the, the arm with a sword? Oops. It's not what I wanted to do. Okay, never mind. It is the arm with the sword. So I'm going to put this here. Too much glue. Doesn't matter. Looking so much better now. And then the other is a uh, right arm. No, I don't want to put it back. <laughs> the sound is so nice. And uh, it's going to be this one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. For a second, I thought this is also an arm, but it looks like an egg. Uh, not the egg, the leg. <laughs> Just let's put some glue over here. Mm, I wonder if we're just using too much. If it just do we have still enough for the end? I don't know yet. Ah! Sometimes I think perspective. my daughter should come with a warning label. And this one. And the last part is missing. How can I do that? I'm gonna. I actually don't want. I want to put this away. Okay. So I can turn this one. Oh, we need lots of glue here. Don't know if this is enough. We're gonna try. We finished? Oh! Wentwood Porcelain State here. Nice one. Thank you, Marie. It looks as perfect as it ever did. Oh, My you're father welcome. wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. No. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. I see. They must both miss her so much. No, look at Izzy. No, oh, it's so cute. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again. Again. It's very interesting. I figured out it just chokes off in the eyes. And the eyes are so important. You can see lots of moods and stuff like that. When Here I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy, to avoid talking about it. 
I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. Yeah. I think this is gonna be a nice story. I hope so. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Oh! Fourth chapter? Disconnect? Oh no, this is gonna... <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be complicated, but <laughs> in real life, I have no idea how to repair stuff. We'll see. My second day in Bella Riva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Mm -hmm. I like the sound effect so much. So Walking made. into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. Oh damn, now I'm hungry. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria? Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. For me? Carmen, okay. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors <laughs> as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. Oh, damn. Okay. Too small. It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. Mm hmm And we have to repair this one. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my rescue for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some, uh, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Some seasoning tips, okay. As you can see, the eyes again, and she's looking a bit worried. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Can we? Restore? <laughs> I hope so. Oh no, I have no idea about electricity. What's that? It's the is this a wire? I guess it's maybe we need to plug something. Okay. Mm, okay, the first thing. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can plug out anything. Oh, okay. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. We're gonna fix it. I'm gonna try. Okay, let's open it down. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. The music is so chill. Actually, you're just moving your mouse a bit. Okay, I can see it's not working because the bell is just broken. Can I put it away? Okay. Ah, I see. Can still open it here. I guess I'm also. I also need to open it from this perspective, from this side. And this one. Ah. Oh, okay, it's damaged, of course. Click the wire and drag it to the toolbox to detach it. Click the wire. Can I just... Ah, okay, I just can let it go. Yeah, okay. Of course, it's not wor working anymore. It's just broken. I'm gonna remove this one. Put that new one. Can I just take this off? Okay. But how to connect things then? Oh, okay, I just need to follow the symbols, and that's probably also the reason why I have the, the wire over here. The telephone to the telephone, and it's 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 green now. Looks like this green. new circuit board is all hooked up. I actually never did anything with a circuit board so far, never. But we're gonna put everything to position again. Into position again. 
hopefully you're not missing anything. Still a few parts mm -hmm. missing. Mm -hmm. I hope she's talking about the screws, to be honest. Did I? I think I missed. Oh no. Oh no. I'm I'm missing one. And then let's open again. I thought so. This is not a good sign. <laughs> I mean, it's pr it probably would work. It just... Not that stable. Still a few parts missing. Yeah, the thing is what? Oh, 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 of course, that makes sense. Yeah, it's better. We're gonna put this <laughs> here again. Here we go again. And the last one. I hope it's gonna work. There's literally nothing more to do. Is it plugged in? Here we are! Everdial rotary phone. It's complete. Yay! We can when I handed the phone back phone. to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. That's if I can pay my phone bill, anyway. <laughs> and the rent, and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. Oh, thank you. I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello, how's my favorite sister doing today? Favorite sister? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. Mm-hmm. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part Ooh, in the festival if it's I don't about pay. money. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? Yeah, she needs money. And that's why it was very important to... To pair the phone. Okay, I see, I see. When the call ended, Carmen She's brought me my very coffee. Worried now. Her hands trembling. Sorry about that. Uh, my sister's decided to fly in for a visit. <sighs> oh god, I have to get ready. Wait, isn't that better? Isn't that better when the sister's also coming? Maybe she's bringing the money and visiting her sister? Actually... I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? Uh, sure thing. The music stopped for a second. I was so confused. What? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Fifth chapter in focus. Yeah, okay. I would never do this in real life. Never. <laughs> The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Oh, recommendations? Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. You hear about the camera? It's about time. So this is my recommendation. I have to fix the camera. Is this maybe Carmen's uh, sister? The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know <gasps> how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... Maybe they even got the same ones. I'm not good with this, but they sound very similar. <laughs> it's 
So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. <laughs> the viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. Now maybe it's broken or something. Let's try to restore it. Ooh, U2G mirror layout. Oh my god, what? This looks so complicated. Okay. Uh, yeah. The mirror. I think we need to. F yeah, there's the mirror. You need the manual. Yes, I need the manual because I don't want to do things wrong. I'm just looking like the the film, like the movie. I guess we just need to open it then. Uh, but it seems like we have to replace uh, the mirror inside and put it like the light is going through. Okay. So yes, I need the manual. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's open the camera then. Elenox. <laughs> Actually, I really like it when you just open up old stuff. Because with the new stuff, you pretty much can't do that because everything is just glued. That's the lens. Put it here. Oh, yeah, it's broken. That makes sense. I don't suppose you fixed anything this valuable before. Hey, she's so rude. Do I need that? I have no idea if we need this. But I actually also have like a, an old camera and we're putting the, the movie here. I just don't know how to put the mirror, but I use the screwdriver ah. to adjust the angle of the mirror. Uh, maybe I'm going to remove the, this one first. We need a good angle to do that. Looks so easy. Ah, this is easy clever. Perfect. Okay. Now the viewfinder should be working. Mm hmm I just uh, highly doubt this is going to be that easy like in real life. Like if you're doing this here. Don't think it's going to be easy like uh, in real life. All right. Put everything back again. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Almost finished. Is it over? It is! A Lenox U2G58 camera. Hmm. And it's completed. Let's see what she's gonna tell us. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 Ooh. limited edition. The first of very, its very kind. Old one. It cost me three months salary, oh. but it was worth it. Oof, okay. And if it's, if we are in the years 1979, it is actually lots of money, lots of money. I had no idea what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? I mean, yes, but she doesn't want to. I would never judge a person because of that. Never. She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Okay. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. That's kind of rude. I had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. Yeah, actually, I have no idea. Their characters are so completely different. That's crazy. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, she wants his money. I she see. I'm lending her another penny. She'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. 
I see. And there, there it is again. The eyes, the close up to the eyes. That's the reason why she's uh, a bit skeptical. There, hmm. Maybe that was the reason why she didn't call you. That didn't sound good. No nope. Hurricane Helena was about to hit. I hoped Carmen was ready. <laughs> Hurricane Helena. Let's continue on. And the next time we're going to do chapter 6 in the dark. And I guess it has something to do with Carmen's uh, cafe or something. Like a, like a sign. Hmm. But we're, we're going to see next time. Thank you for watching.